Hello, hello everyone, and welcome back for another RGB RPGs DM prep guide. Today we are going to be taking a look at session 12 of our Descent into Avernus campaign. And as always, there's going to be a lot of spoilers ahead, so if you are a player or plan on being a player in Descent into Avernus, go ahead and click away. But if you're a DM who wants to see how another DM might prep for these sessions, session by session for this game, go ahead and check out this series. So, the players have officially left Baldur's Gate. Um, this is the first time that they're that the set that the campaign is really breaking away from that whole um, environment and really getting close to getting to hell. But first, they have to solve that infernal puzzle box that they found with um, with Thirstwell Van Damper and truly figure out exactly what happened to Elturel. They know that the High Overseer Thavius Krieg was intrinsically involved in the situation. They know he was responsible for Elturel's fall, but they still don't know exactly how that happened. Um, solving the puzzle box and uncovering the contents of said puzzle box is how they figured that out. So, um, they're on their way to Candlekeep. While they're on their way there, Rhea will recount the tale of the Hellriders as she knows it. It's a very glorified um, like war story that she tells. Um, the story that was passed down from the Hellriders, the lie that was passed down from the Hellriders. Um, she recounts that for the party. She's still deeply depressed by what's been happening. Disillusioned would be the better word for that. Um, her, I, her, I, her idol, the person that she looked up to most in the world, Davius Krieg, along with a lot of the other people in El Terrell, would feel the same way. Um, betrayed by Thavius, disillusioned by the idea that the person that they thought was their high protector, in fact, damned them all. So, that happens on the way to Candlekeep. When they do arrive in Candlekeep, they'll have to present a book at the gates to, get, to gain entry. It's the law of Candlekeep. You have to present them with a book that's not already in their archives so that you can get in. Once they do get in, um, they are escorted to Silvira Silvacus, the person, the, um, the spy that they met back in the Van Thamper Villa will have led them to Silvira him letting them know that she can potentially solve the puzzle box as it is her area of expertise. So once they do meet up with Silvira, she will immediately recognize the puzzle box for what it is, will likely know that there is a, an infernal bargain, a deal, a contract inside of it. Um, she will let the party know that she needs some time to figure that out, to crack the case, or as it were, to um, figure out how to open the puzzle box. So during this downtime, the players will have a, an abundant amount of time to research. And as they're in Candlekeep, with their current objective, there's really only one thing they'd be researching a lot of, and that would be, of course, the Nine Hells, and devils and demons in particular. So they can do that while they're in Candlekeep. And what that means in out of game is that they can actually learn about some of the stat blocks, learn about some of the um, learn about some of the the meta knowledge of the devils and demons. So they'll get the opportunity to do that. And Silvira will tell them more about Gargoth, the hidden lord, that shield that is with them. So yeah, a lot of stuff happens while they're in Candlekeep, a lot of learning, obviously that does make sense for Candlekeep being what it is. Um, but yeah, once they have figured that out, once they've spent some time, once they've done all their meta knowledge, they'll be called back to Silvira, who will then tell them that they've solved the puzzle, that she has solved the puzzle, and that she's calling them up so they can see what's inside. Um, when they open it up, they'll see an official copy of Thavius Krieg's deal, and it'll detail out exactly how El Terrell was pulled into the Nine Hell doesn't give any hints as to how to save it, but it does finally detail out exactly how it happened. So, Silvira will let the players know that she knows someone who can who can help them get to Avernus um, to try and save El Terrell. So, she will send them to her wizard confidant, Traxagor. Traxagor is one of my favorite NPCs in this game. He is a wizard who permanently polymorphed himself into a sea otter. He wears a little red Cossack amazing amazing character i love the reactions we get when we first introduce traxagor doesn't stick around for long but he is a great npc nonetheless they'll also get to meet lulu a very important npc lulu 
um, was Zeriel's mount, a golden holy font who rode with Zeriel into the Nine Hells. She has lost most of her memories, um, but she is nonetheless an extremely important NPC, and unlocking those memories is key to unlocking exactly how Zeriel fell and the circumstances that led to her becoming, her, from her transitioning from a celestial, an angel, an archangel who went to fight the Nine Hells and fight evil, what led her from that into being the Archduke of Avernus. Um, so, Traxagor will help the players get to Avernus after he introduces Lulu, and um, when they get to Avernus, their main goal is to try and figure out how to get Elturel back. No one is really sure how. They do know that there's definitely no way of doing it from the Prime Material, though. So they'll tr when they get to Avernus, um, that is about as far as I expect to get today. However, when they do get there, if we do have some time left, we'll go ahead and throw their first Avernus encounter at them. We'll describe Elturel, the terrible state that it's in. Um, the complete disarray, destruction. The city's been near split in half. Um, we'll show them the map of the city so that they can get an idea of what it looks like now. It is a pretty awesome map. Um, check out the session for that, but it is great. Um, also got ahead of myself here. They will also have received a map of Avernus itself at some point during all of this, during their investigations with Silvira. So yeah, that's about as far as I expect us to get today. I expect them to spend a lot of time in Candlekeep um, going through the research and trying to get as much meta knowledge as they can. Um, so yeah, I apologize for the choppy quality of this video as we wrap up here. Um, my internet's bad. Hopefully the audio goes through okay, but um, my, video, my video is just very skippy. I'll have to look into that. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching everybody. As always, if you want to check out these videos, they come a full month ahead of time on my Patreon. It is linked below. Other than that, you can catch them here about a month after I release them. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching everybody and have a